Welcome once again as we continue celebrating Holy Week, a moment that Jesus spent his last days here on earth. And as we mark Holy Monday, I want us to read from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, from verse 6. It says, while Jesus was in Bethany, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with a lobster jar of a very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? They asked. The perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my head, on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. Truly I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. And this is the word of God. Brothers and sisters, as we look at the last week of our Lord Jesus Christ on earth, we are being told about the anointing of Jesus at Bethany. And the Bible reminds us that while Jesus was in Bethany, in a home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with a blaster jar of a very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. You know, I'm told that uh, during this time there were no banks and people are saving through buying these such expensive things like anointing oil. And this woman came up with a lobster jar of very expensive perfume. The perfume was very expensive and he decided to pour it on Jesus and the disciples were wondering why are you wasting an expensive perfume on Jesus? And they went on to reason and say, how we wish you could have used this expensive perfume, sell it, so that you can help the needy. You know, many times when you are serving God, there is that we call common sense. You try to reason. But this woman, she went with faith and the love. She did not go with a human understanding and reasoning of humanity. I want to say that for you to serve God diligently, you must just surrender to him. You must not look at the cost of things you are using to serve God Almighty. Many of us, we are able to give tithe when you are, your income is still low. The higher God bless you, you find that giving tithe is not easy. And I want you to reflect on your life. You will find that waking up early in the morning to go and serve God on Sunday, it is so hard when you are a, a employed somewhere. But when you are poor and you are looking for a job, when you have a sick person, when you are in need, you find that it's much easier to go to the temple, to go to the church and worship God. When you look at the cost of what you have, it can make you not to serve God Almighty. But we are being told this woman did not bother to look at this cost, but even how much she knows that this, the, the, the perfume was very expensive. He knew that the person he can worship with this expensive perfume is our Lord Jesus Christ. What hinder you from serving God 
diligently. I'm told about the disciples the way you have read it. Is it people whom you fear will know how much you give to God? For you to serve God, sometimes you will ignore other people and concentrate on your father. And when Jesus was aware because he was God of what these people are saying, he answered them, why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. In your service to God, can God say, Calvin, you have done a beautiful thing to me? This Holy Monday, can God say that you have done a beautiful thing to him? And therefore, let us reflect on how can we do a beautiful thing to our God? In our family, in our nation, in our church, how can we reflect on doing a beautiful thing to our Lord Jesus Christ? He says, the poor you are always with, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on me in my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. So Jesus was so much focused on his burial. Jesus was focused on his journey to the cross. And when this woman poured a oil on her, it was a fulfillment that this woman is pouring an expensive perfume, preparing his body for the burial. I want to end by reminding us to reflect on how we serve God Almighty. And when you reflect on how you serve God Almighty, ask yourself, can Christ come and say, you have done a beautiful thing to me? May God help you, may God help me to do beautiful thing to him. May God help you and God help me not to look at the cost, how expensive the serving God is, but we shall serve our God with all the time he has given us, with the wealth that he has given us, because all things come from God. We are just managers. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you for this story. As we reflect on a holy Monday, we pray that, Lord, may you help us to serve you with all our heart, with all our wealth, and with everything that we have. And Lord, help us to do what is beautiful in your sight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom, shalom. May God bless you. My name is Calvin Connell. Let's meet again as we reflect on a holy week. Thank you.